Hello, everybody. It's me, HPD7D, and I'm here with Ryan. Today, we're gonna do something in preparation for uh, our podcast episode, where we review the Emoji Movie. Right now, we are going to go on Rotten Tomatoes, and we are going to look at some reviews. We're mostly gonna look for positive reviews, like non-ironically positive reviews. Because the, the negative reviews are probably just gonna say the same shit over and over again, right? What we think of the movie, you'll have to see in the podcast. It's fucking bad. So, so we let's have... Just do this. Yeah, let's do this. We have our first comment. This is an ironic one. He gives it five stars. Tankest movie ever. But l right above it, it's like decent movies. Something I hate about the rating is that's that's a real one. I'm sure that that is a real one. I think this is like a 12 year old at best who had just seen the film because this is like something a kid would say, you know? Yeah. So uh, a bit down below, we have like this one. I thought it was a cute and funny movie. I, I think this one Mom, is, is legit, but a... she's definitely a mother. She went to see the film with her six and eight year olds while the dad. Well, see, fell the movie the she, she's reviewed so far was the Emoji movie, Beauty and the Beast, Boss Baby, Sing. She's definitely mm. a mother. I wonder what she says about the Boss Baby and Sing. Cute. I thought this might be a little funnier, but still a cute movie with, ni movie with nice plot. Look, look, this is, this is real. She gives it, Which... she, she gives it four stars. Check Which one. Check the screen share. This is about the emoji movie, Ryan. Yeah, let's Don't go get back. Off okay, I'm back to the emoji movie. <laughs> I thought it was really funny and sent a great message about being yourself. It's a good one to see. People should give it a chance. We Did gave it a chance. Did it? We gave it a ch the chance. <laughs> Did it really give a message about finding yourself? I don't think so. Here's a long one by, by Rachel G. I don't know if this is ironic or not. I can't tell. Fans of the 2010s, The Social Network, and Disney's 2013 blockbuster hit Frozen. Frozen? You can't compare as... fucking emoji movie with Frozen. Because I, I don't like Frozen, but it's still better than this shit. After you've commented this down below... Also tell us, do you think this is real? This this comment, I don't, I don't think, I don't know if it's real or not. Like the part when she, when Rachel says all the different emojis, how many were there? Like there were like four I, important ones. Either this, either this person is just really bad at being sarcastic, or they they just really like emojis. The comment below that one, it's pretty. That's a pretty good... I, I like that one. <laughs> 1960. We will have flying cars in the future. 2017. The emoji... <laughs> okay, that one's been written by a 10-year-old. It's cringy and unfunny. Emojis are in the trash can. You should have buy... You I should buy Sony. a Xbox instead of a PS... What the fuck? I hate so. What? How does that make oh, sense? Uh, a PlayStation is by Sony, right? Yeah, uh, pla yeah PlayStations are good. I have a PlayStation, but I wouldn't make but that yeah. a comment right here. Dude. No, that doesn't. Nathan, 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 my, my, my nigga. I'm sorry to, to break it to you, but PC Master Race, dog. True, dude, PC, true. PC. Oh, there's another go one. Play some. Now go, go on your PC and play some TF2. <laughs> Look, she's got face paint, she's like a mother and yep. a little baby. My family and I really liked the Emoji Movie. It's great for kids, which are the main audience. And my eight-year-old that really loved it so much, she wanted to watch it again. Uh, why would you want to watch the Emoji Movie again? And then we have... Krista B. It was light-hearted and many laughable moments. Smiler's psychotic attention to dental hygiene was terrifying and hilarious. My kids gave this four stars. 
These are all real people. I mean, I kind of get it. It's a kid. It's a kid, right? I just want to say something. When we were young, like me and Ryan, we got to see, like, Disney movies go from 2D to 3D animation. We saw, like, the magic of that fucking change. We had, we had like, shows on Cartoon Network, like... The Courage the Cowardly Dog, oh Johnny God, Bravo, so Dexter's Laboratory. We all have that, and then the kids now have the Emoji Movie and, and Pickle and Peanuts. And the fucking like, Powerpuff Girls reboot. Oh God, Teen Titans Go. Oh, fuck you. And like, for video games, it's the same thing. Like, what I grew up with, like, Super Mario Galaxy. Like, those games, like, the... the the music in those games, they were so fucking perfect. And and now now we're getting a Mario and Ra and Raving Rabbits uh, mashup. Yep. Ugh. Well, sorry for my little rant just now. Let's go to... Uh, okay, no, that okay. next one isn't legit. I think this is a good movie. I think that one's legit again, but this person has Shrek yeah. as their profile picture. <laughs> yeah, I oh, the say. account is deleted. The account is deleted, so... Really? Yeah. Have you seen... I mean, no... <laughs> Wait, there's a, there's a legit one. In my it's personal... It's like one to see it. In my personal opinion... I know I'm gonna get hate for this. I think the Emoji movie is pretty good. You, But you haven't even seen it yet, you fucking imbecile. Me and my brother watched it together. He what? said once to see it. What the fuck? And huh? laughed at all the jokes. The jokes were amazing and really funny. The message is to be yourself and express yourself. The message it came across clearly. And I would recommend this to children as adults. Might not get the understanding of the, to this movie. No, 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 no. Actually, I get the under I get the meaning of this movie. The meaning of this movie is advertisements. Uh, it was such a beautiful sight to see. I was crying through the whole movie. This movie is a work of art. I have reached Nirvana. This movie is my favorite movie of all time. Then there's Hide Yoshi D. Hide Yoshi's D. Yoshi's Hide Yoshi. Hide Yoshi D. Oh God, Hide Yoshi's D. I get it. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but also one of the most insulting, lazy, bland things to ever exist. But this that's man. So true. This man. He's right. This man. He is. Oh, this man is. This man is God himself. Oh, you know what the fucking ratings on here are. It's it's fucking rating the PNG. You can le legit just pull it away. To check this out. I love this movie, and I hope they make another one. To be honest, 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 <laughs> honest, honest, honest. Just imagine an emoji movie sequel. The emoji movie too. Smiler strikes back. <laughs> the emoji movie to the resurrection. The re-emotioning. Oh no. <laughs> okay, see, there's like a, um, a reviewer. The animation is candy colorful and the pop music soundtrack is catchy. And the dopey pun puns almost pass for wit. On the whole, there are worse ways to waste 86 minutes. So, so he's... Well, look at this guy, though. Look at this dopey-ass looking guy. Okay. Can I somehow... Look at him! <laughs> F fucking pussy destroyer. This guy is the fucking thumbnail. <laughs> this is the fucking thumbnail. She's gonna be in the thumbnail. 